Here we go. Thirdly one that isn't Wolf Knight, but it is Clasps. And it is Cup of Char... Cup of True. I think it's Cup True. I don't know. I'm bad at pronouncing people's names. I apologise if... Uh, if you have an issue, send me a pronunciation guide, which I can just ignore, because I'm really rubbish at that sort of thing. But anyway, yeah. We have Clafs, we have Cup of True, and they are on Stormkeep. Nice start from Clasps. Starting off a couple of good fights, managing to gain a little bit of a advantage but then Cuppertree managing to take advantage of the fact that Clasps didn't have that much health. This feels like it's going to be a very aggressive game. I definitely know Clasps likes to play aggressive in between uh, major items. Oh, missing that rocket launcher both times and not being able to pick up the actual rocket launcher from its standing point. You can tell Clasps knows this map. By the way if anybody knows how to um, fix these lighting uh, please help. I'm just going to DM Mirio after I finish commentating this one because i really got to fix this shit. Uh, yeah. Claps manages to pick up the Mega but does go into the Lava to take it. So we'll have taken a little bit of damage. But that was before the Mega. There's an incredible amount of stack available on this map. I know. So on this map there's no 50 armour. But there's so many fives that it's just incredible. The only problem with that is that uh, if you're on the back foot, you, your opponent can pick them up too and get overstacked with armor. But at the same time, the exact same thing happens for picking up uh, picking up health. And now the roles have reversed. Clasps has picked up the health, cup through the armor. And now the steady game gets played. But neither guy wanting to rush in, but Class manages to hear where Cup of True's coming from. Manages to get a beautiful air shot in there. And uh, land a few beautiful shot there from Cup of True. Class detonating that too early, loses the lead. Cup of True going to get in. Not going to be able to take the Mega Armor, but will eventually get it after fragging Clasps. Doing a bit of self damage there by mistake. Both players, it is very, like, it's a big room, that middle room that they were just fighting in. That's a big room because it controls the necks, which is an incredibly powerful weapon on this map. Uh, as there are a lot of long sight lines that you sort of have to. Oh, beautiful shot. So, yeah, you can shoot through that wall, which hits someone when they just as they come through that teleporter. You have to predict it though because they have to be just the other side of the teleporter. It's not like you can listen and then shoot if you stood on the mega platform, which is where most people are shooting it from, of course. The warp zone, honestly, it's one of the most technically difficult things to figure out in this game. Both in terms of figuring out the maps and figuring out how you can use it to your advantage when your opponent comes through one. Because you can, of course, chase them through a warp zone just by shooting things through it. Oh, beautiful. Absol stunning rocketry from Clasp here. Managing to take a decent chunk of a lead. And you can see the stack's pretty high. Cupertry is going to have to get some decent ammo, decent weapons before he's going to be able to take that down. Or he's just going to be able to hit a couple of shots with that vortex. Take Clasp down. But you can see he's able to stack it up really quickly, really well. Because he's able to... Um, He's able to pick up these tiny healths. I mean, just running through there, and he was able to pick up... I mean, look at that. Well overstacked. Well overstacked. Not able to pick up that little armor, though. There is another little armor that people tend to forget about. Um, it's above the Mega. Uh, in a secret little room, but people do tend to forget about that one. It is difficult to get into, to be fair. It's a difficult little hidey hole to get into. But... Nice shot there. Clasps is showing some incredible rocketry here. It does frag himself with a rocket, which isn't quite what we were expecting. Oh, and I thought he was going to go for the uh, the secrets there. Did Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. I thought what had happened there was that um, Cupertry had actually detonated Clasps' own electro balls. The little mine-type electro things. But he hadn't. Oh, it's great. 
this is an incredibly um, two different play styles in terms of fighting. Both very aggressive play styles. But you can see that Copper Tree much prefers the hit scan weapons and pushing in close. Uh, so playing long range with the hit scan weapons, then pushing in close to use the rockets and the uh, grenades. But watch Clasps. He's playing from a distance and he's going to continue playing from a distance. He doesn't want to close that gap. He's trying not to close that gap. And this map is an incredibly good map to showcase those two uh, differing playstyles because both are really good. Look, Cup Drew's coming in and Claps is trying to get away and Claps getting away. Doesn't push in. You've got to feel that Cup Drew would have pushed in there. And there he is. Cup Drew pushes in. That puts Claps' aim off because Cup Drew's just pushing relentlessly. 7-5 to five the scoreline. We're about 6 minutes in. Yeah, I mean, look. Clasps is trying to get away, but Clasps just can't get away. Because it's a lot easier to push forwards than it is to push backwards. But there, Clasps' playstyle comes in handy. Trying to push back. Holds back. And he's able to get a couple of frags. You do get the feeling Cup of Tree would have almost jumped into that lava after uh, Clasps did there. Now Clasps pushes in, and when he does, ah, oh, the decision to push in there was incredibly correct. Obviously, we can say that now because he got the frag, but in that moment, to push in there, he was simply uh, simply in the right place, knew his opponent was low, pulled out the shotgun, one of the most powerful weapons in the game, even though it's one of your starting weapons. It really is a very powerful weapon. Uh, the slap could do an instant 40 at melee range. Oh shit, sorry about the yawn. Back to classic, yawning all the time. Look at that rocketry. Much more than elementary rocketry, but a beautiful shot there from Clas uh, Cup True. You can see that pushing back in when he shouldn't have. Clasps ran away. And then Cup of True pushes back in to try and take the fight. Oh, I love the way Cup of True, look at that. They tie up again because Cup of True is able to make the shot and the flying rocket from Clasps connects. Eight health and beautiful there. And Cup of Tree again. He shoots the rocket. The rocket goes round the back, shoots Class, takes him out in the back. And then Cup of Tree's still there pushing. Cup of Tree couldn't have had much health there. But there we see Class. He's waiting. He's spamming off in the distance. You can see that long range play where Cup of Tree pushes in. Class is running away, trying to get back. And it could come down to the fact that these guys are so close. If it comes down to it, you've got to say that in that like sort of last minute spur of the moment type thing, it's whoever's got more health. Whoever's got more health, can Clasps manage to connect rockets while stood still? Or can Cupertry manage to push in, confuse Clasps? Ooh, faked out by a spawning mega there, Clasps. Nice shots, but Cupertry managing to connect a little bit more. He's got great health. Nice shot there. You can only imagine that Cupertry is going to be coming around that corner again. You can, it's incredible shooting. Uh, oh, lovely connection there from Class, but he's got to get out because he can't survive with the health at that point. Cupertry, we know that he would potentially be pushing right now. Class is going to go for a push. It's a beautiful push in the right place. He connects a rocket. He connects a second rocket. He manages to take Class uh, Cupertry down. Beautiful shooting there, connecting all of that together. Beautiful movement and shooting and predicting where his opponent was going to be. It's stunning watching these two play. These are some great plays and great play styles here. And such a close game. Only one minute left and Clasp has to connect some shots. He's going to have to push, but the way that Clasp pushes, it's... Oh, oh, there's that. There, we heard that armor get taken. Cup of True's way of pushing is direct. He pushes straight at you. He looks at you and he dives straight towards you. Whereas Claps, look, Claps goes around. He's not going to follow. You'd think uh, Cup of True would have followed, whereas Claps is trying to go around the other way, take a shorter, sh shorter route. It's definitely possible to do both on this map. See? <laughs> Claps is just directly following, not taking a different route, going directly to the source. A great shot there from Clasps. They've tied it up. They could be going to overtime here. There's only 15 seconds left. And you've got to say, 
based on previous experience with clasps and overtime, clasps is going to try and push in to make that overtime. Nice shot there from Cup of Tr uh, from Claps. Takes the lead in the last second. I forgot the, the tie. I completely forgot the tie. The tiebreaker in the last second by catching Cup of True by waiting for when he was going to come. Walk into the room he was in. Taking the shot. Cold, calm, collected Claps. Manages to take the victory over the rushing Cup of True. Both incredible players. Both played incredibly some great shots coming out from both. That was a great game. I do love this this uh, map for those sort of matchups. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next commentary of demos. I have some more to do. Hopefully we'll have uh, fixed this whole business going on. Cheers. See ya.